Hi, this is Ashim Dara. I am a professor in the Department of Biological and Environmental Engineering at Cornell University. Uh, this short module is in a series intended to help recap the math that might have been done a year or two earlier uh, before taking an undergraduate course on heat conduction or mass diffusion. So the equation that we would like to solve now is this one. Okay, and notice this is homogeneous because the right hand side is equal to zero and it's in spherical coordinate and we're going to also solve this for the two simple boundary conditions of the dependent variable given uh, for uh, two different position of R. So T is my dependent variable and R is my independent variable. This equation appears in steady state heat conduction and mass diffusion, as you will see in the heat transfer or mass transfer class. So let's start from this equation, del, del R of R square del T del R equal to zero. Now notice, of course, uh, that uh, because the dependent variable is only function of one variable r. I can write d dr r square d t dr equal to zero. Now notice that this r square is inside the derivative. So if I want to write this out then it will be, if I want to expand this, then it will be r square d square t dr square a plus 2r dt dr equal to 0, right? So two terms. So obviously this equation is not the same as the corresponding equation in Cartesian coordinate d square t dx square equal to zero. This is my equation in Cartesian coordinate and this is my equation in um, in the um, spherical coordinate. Obviously then this one and this one are not the same because this one leads to two terms. Okay. Um, so let's uh, try to uh, solve uh, this equation. As in cylindrical coordinate, we are never going to expand it. We are never going to expand it because it will make our life a whole lot harder. So we'll keep it in this form or this is the one we will start from. So so let's solve this. So d dr of something is equal to zero. So it's r square dt dr equal to some constant. Uh, and so that leads to dt dr equal to c1 over r square. And, and that leads to uh, t is equal to c1 1 over r square dr uh, plus c2, another constant of integration. Uh, and so this is equal to mi minus c1 over r plus c2. Okay. So then uh, this is my general solution. So of course we know to get C1 and C2, we need boundary condition. 
and as we said we're going to solve for the simplest boundary condition which is the the value given so in this case temperature t so the value at r equal to r1 is t1 and value at r equal to r2 equal to t2 so we will use these two equations to find c1 and c2 so if we plug in the first one then we get what t1 is equal to minus c1 over r1 plus c2 and t2 equal to minus c1 over r2 plus c2 okay so if i now subtract uh, t2 from t1 or uh, t1 from t2 then we get t2 minus t1 is equal to minus c1 1 over r2 minus 1 over r1 right and so from there i find c1 is equal to t2 minus t1 over 1 over r2 minus 1 over r1 okay um, now we still have to find c2 so to do that we subtract t1 this one from the solution this one so we write t minus t1 is equal to minus c1 1 over r minus 1 over r1 okay and then we substitute for c1 so minus t2 minus t1 over 1 over r2 minus 1 over r1 and so the final solution is all of this minus uh, t2 minus t1 over 1 over r2 minus 1 over r1 um, times 1 over r minus 1 over r1 uh, plus t1 so anytime we find the solution we should check if it really satisfies the boundary condition so if we put r equal to r1 all of this cancel r equal to r1 then this entire uh, term is equal to 0 and we get t equal to t1 if we put r equal to r2 then this numerator and denominator cancels and we get a t2 um, so let's see there seems to be a sign error and i think the sign error came from here so there is a negative sign here and when i do this then this c1 so this is positive and so this is positive see that um, so how i caught this error is when i plugged in for r equal to r2 i was not getting t 
equal to t2 but now I do uh, so this is something I find very very useful is to plug in and and check if it still satisfies the boundary condition okay so then this is our solution that says t the dependent variable in terms of the independent variable r uh, the rest of it are all constant so what are the couple of things that we should be looking out for so first of all you notice that we didn't do this we didn't expand the term and then the next thing is you notice uh, this uh, term t and then 1 over r so it is not linear relation between t and r is not um, linear okay and uh, you also notice some uh, math trick here we didn't try to uh, find c2 but what we did is uh, how we got around that is we got one equation by subtracting t, uh, t1 from t2 another equation by subtracting um, t1 from t and and then from the first one we found c1 that we simply substituted in the other one and that's just a, a detailed algebraic uh, uh, trick here so then what we have here is solution to this equation here in which is a homogeneous equation in spherical coordinate that has only one term okay thank you